I worked in Florida and became a partner for somebody. And during that time, uh, I saw for the first time what I had thought about and conceived uh, Bill. It was so tremendously exciting for me, uh, in spite of the fact that I could see my own mistakes. I could see the good as well as the bad. Uh, and I could see that the handling of materials and that the light in conjunction with space was the most important thing of all for me. And I had not understood how important that was until I saw, began to see that something of what I had uh, uh, thought about uh, actually being built. And rather quickly, I uh, found that I had the ability to calibrate within a very small uh, dimension what the exact effect of something would be. Uh, it was so exciting. Uh, I worked on guest houses in Florida because people would not let me do the main house. But it didn't matter the size. Yeah. To the day, I'd say that. You asked me to make a dog house, if I can make that dog house the way I want to do it, then uh, I'd be delighted to make a dog house for you. Okay. <laughs> I still, the, the, the size has nothing to do with it at all, the prestige. And it's until an architect has understood uh, the process or the difference between that which is drawn and that which is built, he is nowhere. And that is the reason why I take such a dim view of schools, to, because schools are filled with people who have not really built. And therefore, one can say that the translation of um, what is drawn into the reality uh, is a step which every teacher has, has experienced, as I see it. When I was six years old, my father uh, undertook to build a church. Uh, he <coughs> raised money and so forth. Of course, an architect was involved, and when I saw his drawings and his models, I knew instantly that that was for me, and I never changed. I had no choice. I see. I had no choice. I was very lucky. Well, course. that's great. Uh, 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 and when people uh, ask me, should I be an architect, I say, if you have to ask me, then you probably should not. Yes. Uh, because you cannot teach people to be talented. Yes. You, can, you cannot teach design. You, you can uh, show what other people have done. You can uh, clarify principle, uh, but you cannot really teach me to be talented. I have always yes. been able to draw easily. Yeah. Yeah. Still do. Well, you see, I'm always lucky. So mm -hmm. I was in the tail end of the Ecole de Bazaar mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 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 Auburn, Alabama. And for two years, uh, that was the way they taught. It was in a very degenerated uh, manner uh, by this time, because the Ecole de Bazaar uh, was in on its last legs in this country. And, but I still uh, am thankful that I had that introduction, because it was a uh, still a reasonably disciplined way of looking at architecture. And I learned a, a, a great deal. I was for two years. The last three years of my studies in Alabama, it was a waste of time, really, uh, to be quite frank about it. Uh, I explored on my own uh, certain has, but uh, it, 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 the sense of direction 
are the way to look at things are a guidepost, if you will, was missing. And it was not until uh, it was my great good fortune to to uh, have Walter Brokers as my teacher that I even began to understand uh, at all uh, what the great architectural issues of the 20th century are. And uh, he, <coughs> he was a great teacher, maybe not so good as an architect, but as a teacher, superb. And that gave me a uh, basis for proceeding, which I didn't have before. Uh, during World War II, yes. because I'd studied architecture, yes. they felt they could make a naval architect out of me in four months by sending me to MIT. Of course, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but I found myself uh, in charge, nominally in charge, of uh, finally about uh, two to three hundred people of making repairs to destroyers and destroyer escorts in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Uh, and that was a fantastic experience because I saw how a very large organization uh, went about uh, dividing its work and uh, uh, a chain of command that, uh, of course, had its own reasons of our being, I understood that uh, uh, the division of labor and trying to utilize talents uh, of other people uh, was of the utmost importance if one really wanted to build. And uh, I would, it, it was an extension of my education, which I will always be thankful for. Uh, uh, I understood that finally, that I quite often, there, there might be a hundred people uh, around, but I could understand the drawings, I could read the drawings uh, uh, that other people could not. And I also understood, began to understand uh, the relationship between uh, uh, administration and people who were doing very uh, little. And so I was, really had a fantastic job. Of course, the reason why I had that job uh, was that if anything went wrong, the Admiral, I was in the Navy, uh, had somebody to blame, mainly a, 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 a Lieutenant J.G. Junior Gray. The U.S. was built essentially in the 19th century and has never been strong in terms of urbanism. Uh, it, it, the United States is essentially based on the eclecticism. Mm -hmm. Europe, of course, is the exact opposite. The strength of urbanism uh, in Europe to this good day uh, is, uh, uh, well, fantastic. It's the only way to it. I couldn't believe the impact which uh, 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 European cities have. I began to understand that architecture is really a matter of urbanism, and that uh, uh, the small must be related to the, the large and vice versa, and that uh, you cannot ignore the environment. While I'd been told that, I uh, uh, hadn't understood very well the, 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 the reality. Uh, I especially reacted, I must say, to uh, uh, Italy, and I began to try to understand the importance of the relationship between vernacular architecture and so-called high-style uh, uh, architecture, the importance of hierarchy of uh, building types, the relationship of transportation of all kinds uh, to, to the city. I understood uh, uh, that the chariot entrance to the Acropolis was one thing and formed absolutely beautifully in relationship to the pedestrian entrance. And to this good day, we have not learned uh, uh, how to relate, shall we say, the automobile, mm -hmm. uh, which is our chariot, uh, uh, to 
of the vehicular thing. We, in this country, uh, uh, build the ugliest cities in the world. And uh, it, it really is painful for me because uh, I don't think it has to be that way. Uh, uh, I, I think it's, uh, uh, it's a very complicated thing, but the principle uh, 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 principles don't really change. Everybody has to find his way of doing things. <coughs> uh, uh, and there are many, many ways of, uh, uh, of uh, making architecture. In my case, uh, Ralph Twitchell uh, employed me for three months. I went off to the Navy, mm -hmm. uh, and five years later, or four years, whatever it was, he asked me to come back as a partner uh, in a three-man office, and uh, that was that. Uh, I found that, that uh, it worked for me uh, having a partner uh, for a certain length of time, but uh, I also understood from, uh, very quickly that I'm essentially a loner, mm -hmm. and to this good day, I still am a loner. I have no associates. I have never had partners at the same time. Uh, I have worked with many, many architects in many different ways, as long as it's understood clearly that I'm responsible for the architectural design. Now, uh, architecture is very complicated and takes many different kinds of talents, especially if you're working in large projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, I appreciate all that. And I do not say architectural design is the beginning and end at all. But I do say that that's uh, uh, where I come into the picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so it's a matter of understanding who you are and what you uh, 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 can do. I uh, am very proud of the fact that I've worked with many architects. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, it's always clear who is responsible for this. No, I didn't resent it. And for many people, maybe that's the only way they can work. Yeah. Uh, 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 Gropius himself had been the first one to say there are many ways of working, although he talked about uh, teamwork. It's a question of what you mean by teamwork. Mm -hmm. If there are five architectural designers, goodbye. If there is uh, a, a structural engineer, a mechanical engineer, an acoustical engineer, an electrical engineer, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a, 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 a geographer, a, an economist, a and the scale, blah, 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 fine, beautiful. I don't want to work with five architectural oh, designers. Of course. It, you, you see, uh, he believes that by, through discussion, uh, one could get, reach a clarification, and I think he thought, at a higher level. Uh, of understanding, uh, but then I uh, say that's true. I believe, depending on who you're discussing the things with, uh, it's a very complicated thing. I make no bones about uh, 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 what I do. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I know perfectly well what I do well and what I don't do well. Uh, I just want to be used in, in, in a good way. That's all. I regret that none of these things were there. Uh, there are very reasons why none of them would go. Uh, my record of building things is better. The one I regret the most is the stadium for the land, yes. Well, it was for the government of Saudi okay. Arabia. And they were going to build three stadiums in the north part, uh, east part, west part, and so part of Saudi Arabia. And they didn't build any of them. Uh, I think it was a government policy. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, I know they decided not to do any of them. Uh, um, uh, and of course, these things happen. Mm -hmm. But as a work of architecture, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I uh, truly regret that. No one has ever asked me to make a stadium again. <laughs> uh, but maybe I couldn't work on a stadium. Yeah. That stadium was far so big and shouldn't be built anywhere else. Yes. Uh, and I would have been tempted to force that mm -hmm. onto another economy. Maybe not, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, it, I think it had unique qualities far so big. Yes. I 
Western Democracy Party in uh, Beirut was a much more universal about the high rise building, mm -hmm. uh, not to use, and as such, uh, it was uh, its parent for Lebanon. It was intended for Lebanon. Whether or not that is built would have been really quite right. I'm not sure. It has, of course, to do with the final. Uh, I, I, I'm a great believer that, that you don't build in Beirut what you would build in New York City. And uh, uh, so I don't really know. Uh, uh, I'm quite sure about the Saudi Arabian project. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure about the eleven. The project for Amman Jordan was the first project that I ever worked on outside the United States. And of course it was for the United States as a commission. I see. Uh, and I don't know why that was not built either. Uh, Belushi, Pietro mm -hmm. Belushi, yes. was uh, the advisor to our U.S. State Department. He suggested that I do that. And I was really happy uh, to do it. I think it would have been okay to, I think it belonged to, uh, Jordan had to do with the limestone, use of limestone. Yeah. It's the first building I ever worked on, utilizing uh, stone uh, in Cairo for the most part. But I went to the valley. Yes. Of course, okay. the tours. But, but I have not been in Alexandria since 1955. Or That's right. So. In 1955, in the United States, um, architects tended to think that the eclecticism of the 19th century, and of course it spilled over into the 20th century, was for the birds, mm -hmm. and that one should build only 20th century architecture. Um, I'm very proud that I... Uh, that that's true only to a degree and that one had to say this building was a part of a very beautiful campus and uh, at the same time it had to say it was built, designed in the 20th century. That was the basic notion. In other words, I'm talking about urbanism, mm -hmm. which I didn't really learn about in school. I learned it in Europe uh, by traveling. Mm -hmm. I'm a great believer that it one his education is based on many things. Yes, travel, so you would yes. Any of that, uh, the uh, adding, the idea of adding a 20th century building to uh, a pseudo Gothic mm -hmm. campus uh, and to form a space of what amounted to a kind of acropolis uh, uh, looking down to the south to a lake. Uh, the siting of those buildings and the general exterior character of those buildings. Uh, if I were to have such a commission today, I would do it very much the same way uh, in principle. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the thing which I feel inferior about the building has to do with the interior space, which was not developed back to it today. Uh, and, and it's that difference that mm -hmm. uh, uh, qualifies what I've said. But uh, uh, to this good day, I think that the Wellesley College was one of the first buildings that tend to marry the new and the old instance. Well, I patterned my eight years mm -hmm. there very much after the Grokius, not stylistically, but in principle. Because you see, what Grokius basically said was that architecture, in the real sense of the word, is uh, a means by which uh, people express their aspirations. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> in that sense, we really are servants of society. I genuinely believe that. And uh, so one has to have guidepost, so to speak, to find a way to address these things. 
change, and that is based on points of the series of points of the charge that we have to start by the speed of the video. And uh, those principles are uh, site, 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 uh, architecture of space, which determines what it makes a building, a religious building, or a governmental building, or a housing, or whatever. Architecture of scale, which uh, architecture of almost totally forgotten, but which is of the utmost importance, uh, 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 especially in terms of urbanism, uh, which, as I've suggested, uh, we haven't begun to uh, understand what the nature of the automobile is, uh, or the nature of the new and, 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 and the old. And then what the structure it, it, it is, because certainly a concrete building is very different from a steel building is very different from a masonry building, uh, and then what I would call spirit, which is kind of catch-all for uh, the spirit of the age, which uh, it, it, in many ways is determined only after the facts of the today. I was invited to enter the San Paulo uh, competition. Mm -hmm. uh, which I did with a guest house, 24 feet by 24 feet. And it, uh, that was the basis of that uh, uh, work. And it, it, I'll describe the house. It had three bays, eight, mm -hmm. eight, eight feet by eight feet. And two of them were filled with glass, and the third one was filled with a panel, solid panel, mm -hmm. which was hinged the piano hinges at the top and lifted it up. And uh, there was a kind of arcade that went all the way around the outside of the house to support these panels. So the panel uh, changed the interior space from a cozy room uh, in terms of enclosure and light to uh, a wide open pavilion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, well, there are many other things about it. The articulation of the good structure, etc. But uh, it was okay. It was, mm -hmm. it was essentially a budget thing. Uh, uh, it also, perhaps, was uh, better located in the southern climate rather than the inland climate. In other words, there was a great deal of exterior exposure. Walls. And uh, doing that, of course, because of very severe winters, uh, heating problems. Yes. Uh, I don't think it reflected. Mm -hmm. Well, the brick was used uh, because there's a great deal of brick, you know, mm -hmm. and especially in Jamaica, Connecticut, and the surrounding uh, houses were by and large. So it seemed quite natural In retrospect, I think I was wrong. But the first one. It could, well, I, let me put it quickly. It was conceived as a masonry program. <laughs> the first one. Yes. And I think it took place. You know, the sequel for all this. Uh, another firm is now making a new state court. Okay. For the unbuilt portion. Because, uh, uh, as you know, the project was never finished. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, and even the lower portion was not complete. It was the continued yes, come around. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the new building uh, will take up the entire space of uh, the And uh, uh, so. Its character is being transformed. Uh, architecture is uh, I cannot explain uh, why the buildings are treated as they are. I do know part of the explanation is that the health, welfare, uh, or is it social security building, which uh, an office building, uh, is used and kept up fairly well for good many years. But the mental health uh, was never uh, fully occupied and kept. Uh, and that's partially because the policy regarding mental health 
uh, it was changed. This was to centralize all the state facilities dealing with mental health mm -hmm. in the state of Massachusetts. And very shortly, they decided that that was not the way it should be done. It should be just this. And therefore, the building was never really used. And for the past 18 years, mm -hmm. I have been working in Southeast Asia. And uh, I found that on many levels very rewarding. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's partially that the, the attitudes are very different than the United States. But, uh, it's a kind of catch up mm -hmm. that's beginning to recede and be over. But, uh, uh, <coughs> It's also the idea that labor is still relatively inexpensive, and quite often what I really want to do is rather labor intensive. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but that's a, a very important factor. There. But more important is the idea that uh, the Pacific Rim, I think, is wonderful. Yes. I think it's true. Uh, and I think for Egypt, of the utmost importance, they were fortunate. Mm -hmm. It had out of time close. And what does he have to say with regard to uh, what? 20th century city has become, uh, i.e., a concentration of millions of people uh, and high rise buildings, fantastic uh, concentration of, therefore, a fantastic concentration of transportation mm -hmm. systems, etc. Now, you can say that the 20th century uh, city has become something it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And why do you build all these high rises, uh, etc.? Et, et I think that you cannot turn the clock back, and that the high rise building close this space. Uh, is a result of deep human um, <coughs> uh, need to be where other human beings are. And that there's a reason why people crowd into very small uh, spaces. Uh, and that the, that, the, that the need for organizations to announce their identity. Uh, it's also a human uh, 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 In other words, it's a different ball game than what he did. The only thing that postmodernism had going for it was its slight interest in urbanism. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was far too nostalgic mm -hmm. and too uh, stylish. Uh, 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 stylish. Uh, if you had a bunch of Cape Cod cottages, according to the postmodernists, the only thing you used to build more Cape Cod cottages. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I think a lot of things in the terms of the totally. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, many of my ex students are readers of uh, postmodernism. I'm totally against postmodernism. But uh, as a conceptualist, other than uh, uh, what little it has to say about purpose, that it's its only real value for my purpose. Mm -hmm. Now that isn't to say that uh, modernism has all the answers, because I don't think it does, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it at least tends to address uh, 20th century uh, problems and has within it being our concept, conception, uh, a great
great many possible solutions, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm really against uh, postmodernism. I, uh, because of my ex-students, I don't really say what I mm -hmm. uh, think individually about uh, this, but I think so first, I had never spent eight years of my life, all too short life, mm -hmm. in spite of the fact that I'm not 75, uh, uh, at Yale University. With the exception of the Connecticut House, again, I haven't seen yeah. uh, any of his work. Uh, uh, of course, I've seen something of it in publications. Uh, but for me, uh, I, I have to question whether or not you have to try as hard as he does to make up the future. The, the nothingness of our future is more likely to, to uh, last and not be a bad <coughs> get to the essence of the thing, you cannot be styled for mm -hmm. I can, I really honestly believe in principles. Yes. And if uh, people evolve, and I see in that uh, new consideration of the principles, and see that it adds to urbanism, or it adds some a dimension, or dimensions to human life, then I'm for it. If I don't see that, then I'm against it. And uh, I, I feel sad about mm -hmm. things right now. Uh, but I also think we feel very hopeful because uh, a lot of false paths have been pursued, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 I think that uh, uh, the problems that one sees everywhere don't just go away. It's that architects right now, as I see it, tend to solve or address themselves to problems which are fine in terms of magazines mm -hmm. and so forth, but have nothing to do with women. Or aspirations. The master bedroom uh, has a bit higher ceiling, mm -hmm. and then you go up uh, two thirds, two thirds flight to uh, 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 an outlook, yes. and that has a canopy over it uh, uh -huh. to shade you from the sun, and that's what you're referring to. Yes, you say it comes up above. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, everything has to have multiple meanings. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there has to, you can't just be adding up. You can't do things arbitrarily. Yes, absolutely. Never, ever. Which has a little bit to do with what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. There's too much arbitrariness. Yes. When I was young, I do every last one. And in many ways, those are the only ones which I like. Mm -hmm. uh, I then became very busy. Mm -hmm. I had to use my uh, And what I would do is to make the layout mm -hmm. the point of perspective and draw uh, almost everything in pencil. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I would get people to fill in certain passages. If it became a matter of gradation, I would always do that because I didn't what people could do. But if it's a matter of hatching uh, uh, flat, mm -hmm. not very flat, okay, uh, 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 somebody else. People who know my other drawing, yes, study things, uh, they that they're more interested in. Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I, uh, some of my study books have been published, but not very much. Uh, I just had a small exhibition. Who uh, uh, was that? Uh, well, I've had two exhibitions okay. here uh, last November. One at the Cooper Hewitt Museum, mm -hmm. and the other at the uh, NIE National 
Institute of Architecture and Education down there. And uh, I show uh, some study drawings as well as the paper. Uh, no, it's uh, just my paper, it's okay. For my formal drawings. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> they, uh, well, I don't know. The only thing that I can say is that the, the drawings which you talk about were made to sell buildings. To say to the owner, this is as near as I can come. Presentation, yeah. yeah. That's the only reason that they were trying to make those uh, drawings. But the study drawings are a way of telling yourself. It has to be the skin. Okay. Uh, this was multiple years. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I could agree with you perhaps. They were office buildings, but with many different types of buildings. And what you call busy, I think of as reduction of skill. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But okay. uh, 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 I think it has to be read from a great distance uh, as well as to the close up. In very different ways. No. It's the reason why you see this this man, mm -hmm. I think he was a very great architect. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine uh, uh, greatly. But there's something new in the world has to do with size and the mysteries of how you go about making that which is small mm -hmm. as opposed to that which is very large. And that has to do with uh, architectural scale changes and things. That's very much misunderstood. I'm still working in Southeast Asia and uh, also in Hong Kong. And I don't know why, but I have a bunch of houses which I have in Asia, yes. I'm working on a total of six houses. Uh, private? Private houses, yes. I also am working on a small office building in Sarabaya, Indonesia. And I am working on another office building in uh, uh, Singapore. And uh, I'm working on a 